what is the impact evolving technologies have on our design decisions? So, yeah, thanks, buddy. Thanks. Basic question, um, and and to feed up to what Darren said, he actually said a really, really good example about you know someone on a White House floor. Um, and so a number of years back, company I worked for actually supported something that was really, really similar. And the the people on the warehouse floor went round with these handheld devices, which were Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. um, which connected back to the um, you know, like the central hub, left of individual warehouses, and they had about twenty warehouses around around the UK. And then the devices were wireless, and they connected into the uh, into the call, and that's where they got their information from. And the VPN device, which was feeding all of this information in and out of the of the spoke sites, was constantly failing um and so when we talk about the you know just the, the evolving technologies which we have around our our design it's been able to take into consideration of how we can have our evolving technologies help us in situations like this where those people are actually alerted that the information that they're getting might be stale or the you know when when they lose connectivity there is some kind of uh, failover involved in this which we're using through automation which you know gives us that alert that you know what the data that we're going to be seeing has all of a sudden you know stopped being being produced to us and isn't delivered down down to that individual person within within the warehouse floor so how does this have you know the the desired effect um when it comes to the you know the evolving technologies he's actually been able to look at this from that perspective and we mentioned this before in one of the other questions is how are you know ci cd pipelines and how our testing infrastructure how this will actually help us recover from these things when we go into these kind of situations brilliant zig do you want to, uh, any comment to add <laughs> Um, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Darren, because Darren's always got something, right? And Darren's always got something. So yes. I'm gonna let Darren <laughs> respond here. And, uh, go ahead, buddy. No, I was, I, you saw me zip my mouth shut there, didn't you? Um, I, I, Stuart hit the nail so squarely on the head there with that because, because it's, again, it's about making sure operationally that the network is, is the thing that it needs to be. And, and that is exactly where you want to bring automation and orchestration to bear because it's about making sure that people can can get the service they need when they need it. So uh, Stu mentioned the word agility in there, and he talked about CICD pipelines and, and infrastructure as code and all those things. It's about being able to provide the, the service that people need when they need it. And that's exactly why you would use those, those technologies right there. So yeah, spot on, Stu. Thanks for that. 